Well, we're here at Hardy Graham Stadium looking over our state-of-the-art football field where our championship Skyhawk football team plays. Certainly would love to see you out here September 3rd for our opening game and of course homecoming October 10 against Tennessee Tech. One of the finest fields in West Tennessee, plenty of seating, we'd love to have you. We stop for just a minute to visit at Centennial Court. I'm sure many of you may recognize the scene here. Uh, it's not unusual to see students gathering here, sitting in the, in the shade, in the quiet, studying, talking to one another. Uh, just kind of a peaceful place on campus. Well, tell us a little bit about the spaces we've been through. Well, uh, we've got three classrooms, and, uh, and for the first time in the history of our department, Ag Department, we've got media preparation room, we've got a preparation room for two classroom labs, just a terrific opportunity we've never had before. You know, we've grown uh, over the years, and, and in that growing process, we're kind of scattered around campus for the first time here in a long, long time. We're bringing everybody back to the building. So we're well, good. We're real pleased. Well, we've made a little stop here at our friend statues representing faculty, staff, mentor, and a student in another beautiful little sitting area near the library in the University Center. Uh, it's not unusual to see visitors, guests, and students spend a little time talking, and it's always kind of a centerpiece as you're touring across the, uh, the quad. This was uh, made possible through the generous donations of, uh, of alumni, and uh, we're, we may have some other areas like this uh, in, the, in the near future. Thank you for letting us visit with you. We're taking just a moment to enjoy this particular part of the library where you can look out across uh, the quad for the entire campus and uh, see a little bit of the, uh, the fine facility we have in the Paul Meeker Library. Uh, of course, we have Seattle's Finest available right here with us and uh, it's kind of a, a pleasant setting. Of course, visiting with Mary Carpenter, our director of uh, the Paul Meek Library, who uh, has been instrumental in, in moving in the fireplace in Seattle's finest and, and really adding some of the amenities and changes and, and special space areas that, uh, that uh, really spruce up the library. The way, really, the new library. Well, that's New right, facility, Chancellor. new services. This isn't your grandmother's library or your mother's library or even your library. This is a whole new world. You're looking at our new student recreation facility, which will open October, November this fall. It's around 100,000 square feet and funded through student fees. Students voted in the funding themselves, and we've had great progress finishing this up. You can hear the workmen and the, the, see the things that are going on right now, but uh, late fall, we should be in the building, and uh, it'll be a state-of-the-art facility, the most modern facility in the state right now. Well, this is one of our, our uh, residence hall rooms in Ellington Hall. Some of you may even remember Ellington. Uh, actual students are living here right now, and they were nice enough to let us take a, take a peek at, uh, at their area. And we thought you might enjoy looking at what uh, a, uh, uh, a college residence hall room looks like. And this, of course, is in Ellington, one of our, our Y dorms. In a few minutes, we're going to share with you about what our uh, apartment-style residence hall rooms look like. But it uh, may bring back a few memories for you. Well, this is one of our uh, apartment-style uh, living facilities, one of our new residence halls, and uh, looks pretty much like home, doesn't it? Uh, of course, uh, these are in high demand. Most of them will be filled this fall, uh, maybe probably 100% occupancy. We'll walk around here and see what else we can, we can find. The uh, beds, dressers, all this is part, comes furnished, have a separate closet area over here. Uh, doesn't look like the uh, residence hall facilities that uh, I remember when I was in school by any stretch of the imagination. 
washer dryer right here in their uh, in their uh, residence hall in their own room space. All right, I'm going to study. I'm going to the library. We're here in front of the administration building right now, and uh, I'm standing beside one of the uh, what we think is fantastic looking uh, lamp posts that are being installed throughout campus. This particular post is one of a number that uh, has been uh, uh, donated by Bill and Roberta Blankenship. And uh, I encourage you, if you're interested in uh, sharing in the campus lighting with these, uh, we think, traditional look uh, lamp posts, contact the alumni office and, 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 and let Charlie Deal or one of the staff talk to you about it. We think they add the right tone of tradition for our campus and believe it or not they are highly efficient and provide great lighting uh, in the areas where we've installed them. Well we're here at the Alumni Center stop by and see uh, see who is here and uh, invite you to uh, come on your own time whenever you're out this way and stop by for something to drink and some blueberry muffins. Hey folks. Fine. This is looking nice in here, isn't it? And what do you have for us? Blueberry muffins and orange drink. Do you like some? Of course. Uh, Sarah and, and Kelly work here at the Alumni Center with Charlie Deal. And uh, as I said, stop by. We've always got uh, uh, something to drink and something to eat. And oh, this is cold. This is going to be good. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. It really is good. 